Hello and welcome to this Simulator Spotlight presentation. My name is Jason Tranter and in this presentation we're going to look at the simulator called I Teach Phase Resonance. This simulator is used to teach two topics really. One is to get into phase readings in a little more detail. The effect of the position of the sensor relative to the position of the TAC reference and the effect of using a displacement probe versus velocity and acceleration. But we can also, with this simulator, uh, simulate the phase lag that um, occurs because of resonance and, and other factors in the electronics, filters and so on, that can introduce phase lag. So, first we have the shaft turning around and the white line there is the piece of reflective tape. When it goes under our phase reference just here, our TAC, uh, then we see the little green light blink to show that it's it's gone through there. We've modelled it so that the heavy spot sits right underneath the reflective tape. So that's the red dot you can see. And because for now we're not modelling any dynamic effects at all, the high spot, the physical high spot, sits right on our heavy spot. And just to sort of show that movement, let's exaggerate the movement a bit. You can now see the, uh, the shaft moving as well. Now, if I uh, have it set up right now with the probe in line with the tack reference and the heavy spot in line with the reflective tape, I get a zero phase degree uh, phase reading. My tack signal's in phase with my time waveform. If I move the, the displacement probe, now we've introduced a 90 degree shift. There's now a 90 degree lag, if you like. We go back here. Now, if I instead change the displacement probe with a velocity probe, we get to see something interesting. See, this is still our heavy spot, but the peak of velocity is now. The peak of displacement is now. Peak of velocity, peak of displacement. And of course, where there's that peak of displacement is where the reflective tape is. So it's now a lead. The green dot, representing the high spot of velocity, goes underneath the sensor and then 90 degrees later, the reflective tape goes through. And if we do that with acceleration, we get the peak of acceleration, peak of displacement and the reflective tape. Peak of acceleration actually happens here and then peak of uh, displacement and the reflective tape. So, number one, we can play around with that and help to really understand all of those effects. With this simulator, we can also explore unbalance, the effect of you know, the relative mass of the, of the unbalanced mass versus the rotor mass and the radius at which the mass occurs. And we can model the situation where I've got um, the resonance and the unbalance, or I can just jump straight to resonance. And here is our, our curve. So as I increase the speed of the machine, or of the rotor, we can see here, now we see the heavy spot come through and a little moment later is the high spot. Now I can go that uh, slow motion, so we see that a bit easier. There's the heavy spot and then the high spot. We've got another simulator that's sort of good for teaching this particular part. We can actually see that in much more detail if we use it in that mode. But uh, either way, as we get up closer to the natural frequency, we see more and more of a phase lag, as you can see. There's the heavy spot and tape and the uh, high spot, the, yes, the high spot going through. If you watch really closely, you can see that it is actually the high spot. If we get right up there, you know, pretty close to the natural frequency, there it is right on it. Oops, now we've got a lot of movement. We can actually back off on that movement a little bit so that we can see it all. Anyway, you get the idea. We, we get to uh, understand why there's phase lag uh, when we're using a displacement probe lined up with our tack signal. If I move the displacement probe, that has an effect on our readings. There's lots of lots of things we can explain with this. You know, we can look at the, the phase angles themselves and we can produce... Uh, a vector plot and uh, orbit plot and all kinds of things. Anyway, as you can imagine, we can have lots of fun with this in the class to help clarify all those complicated issues to do with phase readings, conventions, um, phase lag, or all, all that sort of thing. Anyway, that's just a quick look at yet another one of our simulators. I hope you found it interesting. I hope you even found it helpful. And uh, thank you very much for taking the time to view the presentation.